All right, how's it going everybody? This is Livy here today, and we're gonna go through a bit of a uh, base building tutorial for Grounded. Um, what I kind of want to go through here with you guys is how to really set up a, a good a good starter base, I'd say, that can be expanded into something bigger over time. So, you know, something that's kind of modular that you can then keep expanding and I think would be really good for most players. Um, the baseball is a fan favorite of most people from what we've seen so far in like comments and on Reddit and stuff like that. Uh, so I think this would definitely be a good place to start. I definitely have a lot other places in mind that we, we will go through later on with different builds, but for now we're going to start with the baseball. And this is the kind of the way I like to tackle it. So just climb up this nice little access point that you have to start out. We'll eventually build stairs down here to make it a lot nicer and more fortified. But uh, the way to get up, you know, easily is a stick. Nothing can get you up here. It's a really good all around base. So we're going to start here with the scaffolding. Uh, and the trick here to really get a nice kind of level base out here is you want to place the scaffolding kind of on this seam of the of the baseball here. And you kind of want to get it as low as possible. Right here is pretty good if we go to about right here. So what this does, once you place that, you'll see you'll get a mostly flat surface when you place these pieces like this. And this makes this like really nice in terms of just, you know, really utilizing the space. And I like my builds to kind of hunker into the terrain so it kind of looks, you know, more sturdy instead of just hanging off. But this is a good place to start, right? So if we get with this one, we have a nice, you know, a two by three, more than enough ample space to build. It's a great starting point. We're just gonna go ahead right ahead and throw the grass planks right down on top. We have a nice big place to start with, right? So if we want to expand from here, you know, this, you can do it whatever you want. You can change up things that are situated on top of here, but I think this is a good starting platform for anybody. I think you can really get to you. So I tend to like to start off here when we're going to expand this, is we build two of these off in front. We're gonna build the sides off like this. Oh, this likes to snap here. We'll build two more off the back. And we'll build three off the side here. And then from here, we're gonna utilize the nice corner triangle pieces. Just to give our base a little less of a, a little less of an all around blocky situation, right? Get some variation going here. So now we have this, which is nice. This is a more than enough space to pretty much hold everything you need inside of a, a normal base. And then we're going to make this thing multi-tiered going up. So this is probably where you want to start if you're looking for, you know, your upgrades to your base. I'm going to slap these little triangle pieces on. Got those. And we'll put the regular grass plank floors here. Just like that, we have a really nice open area to really build on. So now if you want to get into the how we want to build up to this base, we're going to start with these scaffolding pieces. We're going to jump down here. And you don't have to build these little ones here that I'm doing. I just like to attach them here so that way it looks it looks better. Oh, fell down. It's the one difficult thing about this is you don't have much area to work with when you're standing there trying to build and things like to jump around a lot. What we're going to do is we're going to snap to this, like this. Scaffold this down. We get something like this going. So what we're essentially trying to do here is we're trying to build a nice way for us to get up. So like this, you see we have a nice double wide staircase. That way if there's ever anything bigger that you really need to bring up, you know, we're just kind of future proofing things for a later date. scaffold this actually up this way. So we gotta pull this one one back. Now I'm stuck inside a scaffold. I 
this and like this. So we don't really need this little side right here. This is just like extra flooring if you want to put storage on the outside like for pallets, which is what I tend to like to do here. So we build something like this, right? And then you go over here and you get like little pallet pieces for storage. I tend to like to keep those outside because it's, it's no fun really climbing all the way inside your base to, to have to put these away. Kind of like just keep them outside for building, right? So like that right there, you have a nice little drop off point for all those parts that you're going to use. We're going to go back to here, put our finishing floor on there. And we can put more pallet storage up here, which is really nice if you want to do that. Now what's cool is if you place this thing, you know, before you finish the scaffolding right here, you can put a scaffolding on top of here and it won't interfere with it, which is nice. It just gives you tons of room for for storage. I mean, you can put the uh, the mushroom things outside for, for growing your food sources. You can do a lot of stuff with the outside. This is just what I like to do just for storage purposes. So we get an ample amount of storage for future building. So now we have this nice little structure here, right? So when we get to the actual building structure, it's up to you. It's really up to you how you want to structure your stuff in terms of cost. Because we got things that are, you know, one wood, one weed stem and, a, and four grass planks versus, you know, using three weed stems. And we know that, um, you know, the, the stem walls, while they are sturdier and they probably pr provide more defense, it's just a lot more, it's a lot more tedious to go ahead and get, you know, dandelions constantly. But, you know, once you start getting the, your tier two items and you can go harvest those bigger, bigger tier two weeds, you get a ton of stems from there. So here is how you could build however you want, but this is the way that I like to do so. I like to have the corner pieces as the stems. And then here is where I like to build just my sturdy walls. Put a nice little window out front. The cheaper one, because I like how this one looks. put a sturdy door which is nice right so then for here we could also do the uh, the awesome technique that Kodiak recently showed you guys is we could build a massive amount of storage space right here which is really cool Got floor pieces really quick And as long as you have these things here, you don't necessarily need the ramps. You could just build straight across half at half height, which is kind of cool. And just like that, you have enough room here for a ton of storage space. You know, if you want to if you want to put them like this, you can. If you want to rotate them and put even more here, you can do that this way. So I tend to like them do it this way. And you'll see we could fit a ton of boxes here. Look at that, we got a ton of storage space here. It's right up against this wall. It's good. And then what we could do is we could take our little crafting bench. I tend to like to slap this thing right over here. So you can enjoy the outside while you're looking at it. You know, you get all your resources right there. It's really good. So what we're gonna start doing here then is building the upstairs portion. So I like to expand. I like to give myself some breathing room in these bases. If you just want to like compress it into a small space just to save resources, you can. You can put the roof right over the direct part of this. But I like to go up two levels just so that way if I am playing in third person, I, I'm not claustrophobic while doing so. So here I like to put it like that, right? So we'll go up here. And from here we'll just slap a floor just so we know where we're at. And then we could build the walls up from here, which is cool. Walls.
And what's cool then is that we can utilize the space above this for other items like, uh, you know, crafting stations. If anything else gets added to the game, we have we have just have options there, right? Which is always good. You definitely want a base that always has options for expandability. So we'll just put these pieces here. And you see that I'm leaving the backside kind of open right there, because that usually it's it's up to you really what you want to do with that. If you want to make another entrance in from the other side, so you have two ways to get in, just in case there's you know creature any insects that attack you and you kind of want to address them from different sides. Maybe you're stuck on one side, you don't want to go out that way because there's a wolf spider camp in your base. You definitely want to have options, right? But you could also do like a nice little patio deck that sticks off the back here, and it's just really cool. So just leave that open for right now, just so we can see. And we'll just finish this off really quick. This room. I do hope that we get like stem flooring at some point. It'd be really nice. Turn that there. Turn that here. Like that. And as you can see from here already, we get a pretty decent view of the backyard. We can kind of see the major landmarks of where we want to go, right? We got the shed, we got the tree, we got the lasers. Got the rake that leads over there. No, we kind of can see what we want to do. And just as you get more and more resources, you can just build up higher and higher and higher, which I think is really nice. And you're already so high up that you save so many resources, right? And I like to put my lean-to kind of back here in this corner. So as you can see, we can do a ton of different options here in terms of like what we place inside. I tend to like to put like a mushroom garden right here, right underneath here. And then we can always do, we can always do our food and crafting stations out here. It depends on how much space you want to like leave, leave open for yourself here. But it's nice that you can use your lean-to as a jumping spot just to get up here. So you can store a bunch of stuff up here too. You can put more chests. I tend to like to hang my fire pit off the front of this thing here. Put our smoothie station. You know, and as you're right here, you can just access it from here, which is really nice. That's all compact, all on one side. If you're really building this base, you can honestly just build this one side and be fully functional for a good while of time. So we're just gonna build two grass planks off the front of this thing. The floors. And just stick it off like this. I wish you could snap pieces here like this, but you can't unfortunately. So if you want it, if you want to fit to a full grass blade here. You do have to just, you know, get rid of this and attach this way and then put your, even with the corner pieces, that doesn't tend to work. You have to actually destroy that corner piece and attach it if you want to really anchor here. That's why I tend to like to do the triangle pieces. It's unfortunate, but it's what you have to do. Small things I'd like to have improved for the building system. There's a little ball of light in the back. Look at that home sweet home in here so far, guys. You can hang all your trophy mounts on the walls. You can do a lot of stuff in here still. Like, you have a ton of space. You could fit, if you wanted to, man, you can fit the, uh, what's it called? The dew collector. You just slap one of these things right inside here, right in the middle. Now, if you wanted it there, you totally can. It doesn't really get in your way that much. It's great. You know, you have unlimited water. You got your food source here. You got all your crafting. All this fits right inside this little area. So that just gives you this whole entire part here to really expand on and just keep building straight up. So from here, we'll do a little bit of a time lapse just showing me building this base up pretty high. And I think this is probably the direction that we wanna, I'll show you what it looks like when we build this thing up pretty high.
So just like that, everybody. We have a whole second story with tons of room for stuff. We could put armor racks up here. We'll just light this up a little bit. Kind of like these little the uh, sconces, just because they don't they don't seem to lag with the game is so much. I know the lighting system seems to be a little bit of a pain point for a lot of people. It even lags my machine out, pretty intensive. I like to just put these lighting sconces. These ones seem to be not as bad. Just like that, look at that. We have a nice area that, you know, whenever we want to use a bow and arrow, uh, maybe some of the future ranged weapons that are coming to the game. We just have, you know, a lot of options here to be able to defend out. You know, we can knock one of these out and make a balcony around the edge if we really want to. There's a lot of options, you know. It's up to you how you really want to customize it. But this is kind of where I like to go with this. And if we come down here and look at the bottom, look at that. 